Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be doing the Larry Roberts Mouse Belt Buckle Fat Man modification. So I did a review earlier on the belt buckle by Larry Roberts called the Mouse Buckle. So what this is, this is a frictionless bearing block for a bow drill. Uh, this also works as a scraper with the 90 degree spines as well as it's a fire steel for a flint and steel fire. The uh, issue with this is uh, it has a lot of hard 90 degree angles on it which works perfectly well for your scraping aspects of it but the issue I'm having is just comfort having a quarter inch thick piece of uh, hand forged steel by Rocky Woodland Forge rubbing against my body. So as I mentioned in the other video Larry Roberts who designed this is a pretty skinny guy. Uh, I am not quite as skinny so I have a lot of issues when I wear this. So to keep the integrity of the belt and make it function exactly like it's supposed to and like it's going to work for me, uh, I am going to go ahead and knock this 90 degree spine off the top. I'm going to hit it from corner to corner. I am not going to be touching this edge. I'm not going to be touching this edge. And the bottom edge, I'm going to let it go for right now. I'm going to see how comfortable this is. So in addition to breaking the 90 degree spine on the top edge of the belt buckle only, uh, the inside here this is where the belt would go through. This is a 90 degree spine also. So it's just too hard to use. I'm sure it would loosen up over time. I'm just going to lightly break this with sandpaper. So the belt buckle, nothing wrong with it. Uh, performs perfectly fine. Uh, just for me and my body style, I'm going to do a real quick modification to it and maybe it'll help you out also. Alright, so this is important. We're going to keep this orientation the same. The belt would be coming out on this side. Uh, this is going to be on my left hand side of my body. This is going to be the right hand, so this is the top. And this is the only part I'm going to touch right now. Now I'm not going to get real crazy with it and try to round it off and change any contours. I just want to get this hard 90 degree edge off. It's smooth to the touch now. I kind of broke that 90 off. Feels pretty comfortable now. Um, this edge right here, this is going to be a forward scraping edge, so I'm not concerned with it. So, there we go. And the top edge, so this is the edge that I just cleaned up. And you can hear. So, it's a very minor difference. Uh, still have complete function of the belt buckle both as a striker and as a scraper and of course the the divot actually probably got improved because now it's a little more comfortable at least on this top edge to hold on to. Uh, I've got a couple options here. I've got strip paper or I might use my uh, sander again but my next area I'm going to attack is right in here. So this forward edge I can feel that's pretty rough and that does no no function for the buckle itself so I'm going to get pretty aggressive with this not going to change the look of it all but I'm going to go ahead and break these 90s off as well So we can see how bad the buckle was tearing up the belt. It was really skinning it pretty bad. And now you can see a little bit of polish right here. There we go, slides much easier. Didn't really mark the belt up. You can see just the faint line where I stopped. But uh, this is definitely a worthwhile addition. So this isn't rocket science here. Uh, I just sanded down the edges, made it a lot more comfortable to work. There are other options. Uh, there's Jenny Craig. There's Weight, uh, Weight Watchers. You can go starve yourself in the wilderness for 60 days like Larry did. But uh, this is the easiest one by far. So. 
this just uh, made it that much easier to wear on a daily basis and have it with me when I need it. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.